Chris Paul is one of the best basketball players to never win an NBA championship. This year he is going for that and it looks like they may have a chance to win it. Of course, let's get down, let's check out how Chris Paul is able to play so good and how you can play just like him. So let's remember Chris Paul is a very smart basketball player. He can come off of screens and find the open player, especially this one that we see in the corner. So the first thing that we see Chris Paul do before this screen is he looks over towards this side. He is really checking out what's happening with these two players. Of course DeAndre Ayton's coming up for that screen and roll and of course Chris Paul wants to use that to draw down this defender. Now one of two options are going to be here. So when Chris Paul comes off of that screen that hedging player if he hedges and this defender doesn't guard or doesn't guard in but stays out towards the corner then we're going to have Aiton wide open coming down the middle of the key. Meanwhile, if this player here decides to stay in and guard the key like he technically should, we can now do a skip pass over or cross court pass which is generally not something that you want to do as a player, but when you've got a wide open player in the corner who can shoot corner threes like Crowder, we can definitely hit up players like that for those corner threes. So this next play is actually very ingenious. This player is cutting out from the baseline. We have a staggered screen up top for Chris Paul. Now, what happens here? Well, Chris Paul, this first screen is going to pop out for a three. Second screen is going to roll towards the basket. This gives Chris Paul multiple different options as to what to do. So first off, his defender is going over top of the screen and chasing Chris Paul. Meanwhile, this player is hedging on Chris Paul so that he doesn't have an open mid-range or open three. Chris Paul is very good at hitting mid-range shots. And because of this, he now gets double teamed. And it comes down to this main defender on who he's going to defend. He decides to defend the key, which is actually a smart move. However, we also see another screen coming off on this side as another option as well. And this is overall a fantastic basketball play. From there, we have Chris Paul who could pass out for a three-point shot, pass in for a layup or a dunk, or from this pin down screen, we could have another player open for a three-point shot here. So now we have two three-point threats as well as a low post threat. Chris Paul is able to see and scan the defense. Of course, he's not looking at this player. However, he is able to see these two players. He could have passed either way. However, this player here decided to cover the three-point shot because apparently he is more of a threat from the three-point line than he is down in the low post. And so then that was just a wide open dunk. Chris Paul is also not afraid of mixing it up in the low post when he has a mismatch when it comes to player size defending him. So here he's able to take Facundo down into the low post and he's able to post up actually at a very high level. This is why you should know every position on the court because you never know what situation you're going to be in. So what he does here is really quickly fakes a handoff to the corner player who is of course popping up towards the wing. This gets his defender laxed just a bit to the point where he can get that player down into the low post. He does spin off for two reasons. He wants to scan the court to see if there's any player who is cutting down. Then he can just dish it off for some open dunks. But also, he wants to see where the defenders are because now he wants to say, well, can I pass it to one of these three players or can I just go up with the shot myself? And that's what he decides to do. Also, by setting up that quick drop step here, it makes that defender move towards that middle of the key, which then gives him even better opportunities and more space to be able to hit that turnaround jumper. This is another great basketball play. It's a horns play that's basically what, what, what I call a sandwich screen up top uh, because of course you're setting up a sandwich but of course Chris Paul uses the right side of the screen here he wants to go towards Aiton because of course Aiton is very good coming off of screens and he is also very deadly when it comes to cutting towards the rim especially when it's on a two-on-one situation which then brings down that help side defender where Chris Paul can do this quick cross-court pass over 
to the corner for that open three-point shot. Now this next one is also very good. He uses that screen to get that switch, and then he's able to pull up for his mid-range shot by really just creating space for himself by dribbling through his legs once, doing a quick step back, and pulling up for the shot. Because this happens, we can see that Chris Paul really does try to single out, especially in his older age now, the slower defender, they got that switch, and then he's able to, of course, take the slower defender to school. So this is how you can run a perfect transition basketball. You've got the ball up the middle, you have your two wing players, who, of course, they're going to be cutting down at the free throw line extended, and then you also have a player behind you. Now, if you are this player, of course, you don't want to be along the wings, you want to be running right down behind your point guard for two reasons. Number one, these players are going to be cutting down and of course the point guard could pass to one of them and they can go up for the layup or the dunk and then you can just follow through with the rebound if there is one or of course Chris Paul could take those player that player off the bounce so it is Jokic he is a good defender but not as quick as as Chris Paul and of course Chris Paul may get blocked he may get a missed shot and then you're still in position to get that rebound or you can be in this situation where the point guard drops it back to you and you can really get some easy points. Now this is actually a very smart move on Chris Paul's part because now he takes the center out of position by getting him too deep into the paint to be able to defend a full speed Aiton and then he's able to drop it off. So even though this was a Chris Paul pass, this is still all set up because of Aiton trailing the play. I hope that this video helps you become a better point guard or a better guard in general in basketball. If it does, hit that like button, subscribe, go check out all of the equipment that I use down in the description below and I will see you guys in my next video.